yeah, 270, 273 pips from high to low. You can see that not much has happened. The market has come right back into resistance here and is floating around. Like I've been saying, though, this is where we've got to start watching for the pattern. So right now we're looking at this larger triangle pattern starting to form. So uh, we've got uh, a couple of very good trades, I think, that are building. The long trade, I think, we've got to watch a little bit more than the short trades. Let's take a look at some of these levels. For the long trade, a break above this price will put the market above this high but still below resistance. Again, I think if the market can get some momentum going, then we've got uh, a good chance of, of a continuation. That's not to say I haven't been wrong in the past, uh, but again, that's just trading. There's no way we can predict the market. We can only prepare and uh, uh, manage our money. So 9608 is that level for long 37 pip stop that again will hopefully take the market past this point into a momentum area and then beyond our resistance here at 9640 which would then uh, leave clear sailing up here to 9720. On the downside we're actually a little bit better off again I'm going to be anticipating uh, the the uh, support level right about here so on, a sh on the short side 1.9484 there we go. Uh, stop of 37 pips. Again, uh, putting the market into a momentum move. Yes, we are anticipating a little bit, meaning we still have uh, some support down here. But again, if the market can break through these levels, clear sailing all the way down to about 93.40, 1.9340. Again, uh, potential big move to the downside. And of course, if it does manage to clear the support here, uh, on this day, you see, let me scroll back, whoops, you can see clear sailing all the way down to the prior lows over here, which pegs the market uh, about 1.9186. Uh, you can also see on the top side, if the market does get going, uh, we're looking at a target to the upper end of the resistance level here. So on the top side, I would be looking for the market to get to 98.61. Again, some big moves here, which are possible, but we've got to keep our eye on the patterns. We, we have, as I said, this triangle pattern, which is building here. Uh, if we do get the market breaking out, keep your eye on momentum. This is not, uh, especially to the long side, something that I would uh, be looking to take on an autopilot basis. The short trade, I would uh, also want to watch this thing uh, because we're in an area where uh, the market has a lot of support and a lot of resistance. So we're going to get whipsaw moves uh, both to the upside and the downside, or it's likely that we'll get whipsaw moves to the upside and downside. So it's not the time to get overconfident. It's simply a time to watch the momentum. Once you see that momentum going, keep your target at 9861 uh, on the top side, uh, 9100 if it does break below 9340 here on the downside.